What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I filmed my last two videos on my iPhone and I even edited those on my iPhone, which is actually kind of a tedious process. Try to edit a video on a screen that small and you can't do as much on them, but let me know if you like those style, those like quick on the phone, edited on the phone or uploaded versus like this style. There's not gonna be some huge differences, but let me know if you notice an audio or quality difference and what you guys prefer down in the comment section below. So guys, we're gonna be working on the 1500 again today. As many of you know that do keep up with the videos, this truck means a lot to me and I'm gonna be trying to make this truck a, like I said, I'm gonna loosely say the word restore it, but in a sense, restore it while modestly building it out to be a suitable weekend driver, daily driver, and nice weather for myself. And if you guys have been watching the channel for a long enough time, those of you that have, you guys know that I have rarely ever kept a vehicle for myself. I have very rarely ever done that, and this is probably gonna be the first truck that I ever actually keep as mine and it's funny because my first diesel i ever bought was almost this exact configuration but it was with a 12 valve in it it was an extended cap long bed but it was covered in rust and pretty much the way that this one was before we just got it back and i am super excited to have this truck if you guys don't know why go back and watch some of the last few videos the truck means a lot to me sentimentally so i'm going to try to make this thing just a reliable enjoyable daily driver and that's the mission with it. I want it to be able to do the things that I need it to, but for the most part, those things are like occasionally towing a few small things or towing a tractor or some mowers or whatever and deer hunting and putting deer in the bed. So I don't need to have a big diesel for most of my daily application. Some of you guys need that every day. I don't need that every day. I'm gonna be doing this for myself and for me to enjoy. But still take notes because a lot of the stuff that we're doing to this truck, you can do to any second gen, whether it's gas or diesel. Today's mission is gonna be lifting the front end up, getting it on jack stands, pulling the wheels off. We're gonna be working on the front end in terms of getting some stuff sanded down and painted. But the goal is gonna be trying to tear off the sway bar, sway bar links, and, the, and tearing off the tie rod ends, the tie rods, um, basically getting that all pulled off. I have all new stuff coming and you might be wondering, you know, why would you tear it off if you don't have the stuff here yet? Well, because I'm not driving the truck in the meantime anyways. This truck is parked in here because it doesn't get driven a whole lot, but I do have the parts on the way. They say they're supposed to be here fairly soon, but in the meantime, I'm not driving the truck anyhow because it's already got some issues. If you can see like that and like that. And those things really should be addressed before this thing goes down the road because it just makes it slightly unsafe. It's at a point where it really shouldn't be driven anyway, so I'm gonna just start prepping it for the stuff that's supposed to be here in the next few days, pull some stuff off, the parts that we're gonna be keeping and putting back on the truck, give them a light sanding with some paper, paint them, get them ready to go back on so that when the stuff is here, we don't have to wait for paint to dry, we can just get the new parts, start to install them, and everything will be ready to go. Because as you guys all know, if you've worked on vehicles, if you haven't, I'll fill you in with some fun information. Things don't usually go how you plan. So like even today, I'm like hoping I can get all the front end, basically in terms of steering components and linkage, I'm hoping I can get this stuff all tore off and the stuff that I'm gonna be reusing, get it all sanded and painted. That's my goal today. Is that gonna happen? I don't know. Usually things tend to take a little bit of a turn and make it a little more difficult to get the job done. But like yesterday, I was like, I don't know how this is gonna go. In the beginning, it seemed like it might be a little bit of a pain in the butt. And next thing you know, I ended up being able to get the whole job done in like an hour. So, you know, things sometimes go in your favor, but just as much, sometimes I've gotta go the opposite way. Otherwise, if everything was easy, everybody would be doing it and there would be no use for mechanic and maintenance shops. He got the venom, a tangible weapon, no coming in second, this life is a lesson. He got a new engine from pain, that's a blessing. New focus, no guessing, just bold an obsession. All in his possession, you got the retention. I'll leave an impression and take a redemption. Just kill no discretion, your mind is a weapon. 11, 11, it's time for progression, oh! You could try to play it, but you're never gonna be me. Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy. Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me. Bloody hands break through the chains, go free me. Like sheep, both feet hurt it easy You don't wanna be fast asleep when they see me Better stand tall, ready for a fight, believe me When they drive the chains, you can say no, free me so he's been looking for somebody who could save him Instead of searching inside for what they gave him a 
And just like that, I couldn't have gone any smoother. That's awesome. So we got all the front end parts taken off of this in terms of the steering linkage and components like the tie rods, tie rod ends, um, sway bar and sway bar links. Because like I said, a lot of this stuff was junk. I mean, it was pretty bad. In fact, there's one of the sway bar link pieces just chilling there. Just stay down. There we go. Now it's out. So like I said, this stuff, I mean, it's pretty bad. That's supposed to be in there. It's just so worn out, it's, it's gone, fell out. The bushings on the sway bar, are totally bad. Uh, bushings are totally shot. The steering stabilizer, I haven't checked that yet. I'm pressing it by hand. See if it decompresses. No, it does not decompress on its own. That is also getting replaced. I ordered it just assuming that it was gonna need to replace while we did everything else. And then all this stuff, I mean, there's the, a tie rod in there. I mean, there's no, there's nothing to it. Same with this side. Actually, that one doesn't freely move at all. It doesn't even move. Yeah, that stuff just, it's just all gotta get replaced. The sway bar itself, I'm actually gonna keep that. There's nothing wrong with the sway bar. You just gotta take the bushings off, replace those, which I've got those. I've got new Moog bushings coming for that. So I'm gonna clean up the sway bar and take off the links. I'm gonna pop those off and clean up the sway bar and then repaint it in the brackets. But in terms of the tie rod and tie rod ends, I'm gonna just leave those the way they are because I've got all new stuff coming. Just because, just because I got all new stuff coming because I figured the threads on here and everything would be bad and so I might as well just get replaced. Same with on that one. So I just figured new tie rods, new tie rod ends, and it should be in pretty good shape. I'm gonna keep this stuff laying right here the way that I took it off though for now in terms of when I'm done cleaning up that sway bar and repainting it because I want to just kind of see everything that I took off and exactly how it came off. And I took some photos so that way I can put everything back together with the new stuff very simply and kind of hopefully have it as a one and done and I don't have to keep messing with it once I get to put it back in other than alignment stuff. And I'm gonna to start to clean up some stuff in there while we don't have wheels and tires and all this linkage in. I'm gonna work on cleaning up some stuff and getting it to look a little bit better. That's the progress so far. And after I had popped the wheels and tires off and then I got all my sockets ready and I set them right next to where I'm gonna need to use them, it only took me 15 minutes to pull all that stuff off once I had my sockets set aside and ready to go and had the wheels and tires off. It took 15 minutes to unbolt that stuff and tap it loose with hammer, get it to drop out. So. One of those days, you gotta be thankful. That doesn't happen very often, even on a job that's supposed to be simple. There's always something that can pop up, and luckily in this case, it went pretty smooth in my favor. Sway bar, and I sanded it down. I had a wire brush, just a handheld one. It really wasn't that bad, but I wired it down real good, rinsed it off under the faucet, took some towels and dried it off, and got all that loose rust powder that kind of flaked off of it. And so now I'm gonna take some flat black, Rust-Oleum flat protective enamel. I'm gonna coat it up and I'm gonna do that while it's off the truck because it's a lot easier to get everything in all the sides while it's off. So I'm gonna get to doing that and then move on to the next step. I had to take a little bit of a break. Which, by the way, if you do you want to enter to win this truck? If you do, cool. If you don't, that's fine, but consider this. You can go to the store, lnpgear.com, link in the description or download our new app and you can spin the wheel on the website and win up to 3,500 free additional entries added onto your orders that are already gonna get 30 entries for every $1 you spend. This is your best and last chance to enter, okay? The giveaway ends the day after Labor Day. So Tuesday, September 6th, this giveaway, it is over and it is done and the truck's gonna be going off to one of you guys to enter to win the thing. You just go to the store, you place an order, buy anything you like on the website, and you're automatically entered to win as soon as you check out. Like I said, spin the wheels on the website. You can spin the wheel, win a deal, add a bunch of entries to your order, go check it out, grab an order, add some additional entries onto that order for free just by spinning the wheel and entering your email address, and we're gonna get one of you guys a new truck with cash. Anyways, let's get on to the video. We got those all sanded and painted on one side. I'm gonna flip them all over, paint the other side, and then that'll be good to go. And then we did also get the new tires for this truck. They're gonna look freaking sweet, and I'm not gonna fully reveal the style that I'm going with in this video, I don't think. I don't think I want to fully reveal what I'm doing 
in terms of the setup. I don't want to do that until I can actually put them on the truck, but it's going to look freaking so, it's going to look sick, but it's going to be very usable and practical, but it's going to look really good. If you're picking up what I'm putting down, cool. If not, you'll just have to wait until you see the reveal. It's going to be freaking sick. And hopefully that'll be a lot sooner than later. All I have to do to be able to do that is get the new steering components put in, in the front end and get everything painted up here before I button it back up. So that's going to be my next thing. I'm going to take the wheels and tires. I'm going to go drop them off to get mounted and balanced. And then I'm going to come back, work on sanding down everything that I'm going to be keeping on the truck, obviously like the axle, parts of the frame, stuff like that. Anything I can reach, I'm going to wire wheel it down. I keep saying sanding. It's more like wire, wire brushing it down, getting it all the flaky rust and debris off. That way I can paint it and coat it up while there's nothing in the way, no wheels and tires to get over spray on. You know, nothing that I don't want coated is on there right now. So I'm going to get to working on that, possibly take off the shock absorbers because I got new ones coming in for that as well. And then painting the strut towers after I wire those down. And so there's a lot of small things I'm going to work on while I'm already in here doing stuff. I don't know if you can hear me over that amazing ice cold AC blasting, but uh, there's a little sneak peek of the tire set up in the bed. In terms of the remainder of the reveal, you're going to have to wait. So next step, I'm going to be removing the bolt down at the lower portion portion of the shock here and then I'm just going to be removing the entire strut tower because well I'm going to have to remove it anyways because I'm planning on repainting the strut tower before I stick it in there so let's get that swap pulled out so we can go pick up our new wheels and tires for this thing in probably about an hour and then hopefully we can have this pulled out and most of the stuff wire brushed down and painted within the wheel well on each side that way it's done and we can get on to moving along with the next step. I don't know exactly how much I'm going to get done on this truck today. But with these videos, I'm not just kind of like picking one topic and only doing that one topic for that day. I'm just trying to film and work on as much as I have available time for each day. Some days it'll be a little more than others. So we're just going to keep on working away and keep on going until we got a full day in on this thing. Change the world, change times, rearrange them. Staying on pace, running the race. Life is a chase, I don't want a place. I want to be first. Work till it hurts. Dehydrated thirst till I'm in a hearse. Oh. High ambitions in the right mind can take you so far It's like you lived a few lifetimes Take off, so I'ma break off from the weak minds They can stay soft, you can change lives, you create thoughts Never waste time, you got one shot, you got one life, better pop Well, this is where we're gonna end today I did get this whole section of the wheel well sanded down and painted You can see all the rest, I sanded off of it When I say sand, I keep saying sanded, I used a uh, Use this wire brush and I just worked it down as best as I could to get all the flaky crap off. I just painted everything. I know, you know, I painted all over the, you know, the rotor, but as soon as you get in the truck and pump the brake, you know, rolling a few feet, it's going to just take the paint off and it'll be fine. Um, but I did work down the coil and the axle as much as I could and painted it. It's still drying. It's, it's all currently still wet. Same with this side. I followed the same procedure on this side. You can see all the rust on the floor. That's everything that I sanded off. And then, well, you can't really see it because the lighting is terrible, but it looks pretty good. Just uh, waiting on some parts to get here to button it back together. This side you can see in the daylight, they're pretty good. Turned out pretty well. Not too terrible, but there was just a lot of scaly stuff that was just kind of needing to come off. Then here's the strut towers. I just coated them up again. Here's the sway bar in the brackets. Hold that up. Those are all painted up. This is all sanded down. Well, wire brushed down and painted up. The nuts for the strut tower. The paint's probably gonna come off when I put them back on, but at least they were coated at one point here. And we do have new wheels and tires over there for this truck. So. Super pumped about that, super excited. And this is gonna be the end of this video. So, you know, sun's starting to settle down here. I've been out here for probably 12 hours today between, you know, getting that tour apart, wheel the tires off, jack stands, running to drop off wheels and tires, get mounted to balance, coming back, you know, pulling the shocks out, the strut towers, wire brushing down the frame that I got to in the front axle, you know, wire brushing and painting the sway bar and the strut towers and brackets and so you know just it doesn't seem like a whole lot but it takes a lot of time